One o'clock, 12.30. There's no moment quite like spotting a whale in Puget Sound. I'm going to cross over towards Colville's Passage. The Pacific Whale Watch Association and Orca Behavior Institute say this year brought an encouraging trend for big killer whales with a record-breaking number of sightings. There's Jack. The T-137s, the family that Jack belongs to, is one of the most famous orca families in Puget Sound. They come here every single year. It falls in line with what the OBI says is an overall increase over the past 10 years. Researchers say humpbacks too. That looks like a humpback whale. Have made a resurgence thanks to laws protecting them. Still, the trend is different for southern resident orcas, with sightings remaining low. The Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife says the population has shown an overall declining trend since 1995, prompting efforts to manage fisheries, slow down vessels, and restore salmon habitats. For all types of whales, whale watchers say there's something they've noticed on the water everyone can help prevent, debris that marine mammals can ingest. Out of everything that we see, balloons are by far the number one uh, piece of trash that we encounter. And so uh, it's something that we actively try to educate people about. If you're trying to celebrate a special occasion, don't release balloons. There's so many better ways to honor your loved ones than polluting environments and uh, potentially endangering whales and other marine wildlife. Another area for improvement, people knowing safe and legal speeds and distances near whales. The law in Washington is that you have to go seven knots or less around endangered southern resident killer whales, but we as whale watchers do that with all types of whales. San Juan County worked with groups like whale watchers to get people to use these warning flags in areas where whales are swimming. From the Salish Sea, Eric Zuko, King 5 News.